How you doing everybody? Jason Lawrence here. Wanted to talk a little bit today about what what type of builder would you want to be? You know, if you're somebody that's looking into starting a home building company, you know, getting getting your uh, your feet wet with your uh, with your first spec home, what type of builder do you want to be? There's all different types of builders. A lot of builders use different ingredients, you know, so they're 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 using different types of windows, different brands of windows. They they do things differently. They may use engineered studs in in certain interior walls. Some may use dimensional lumber. There there's a so so many variables, and a lot of it kind of comes down to what type of price point you would want to be at. Is there a, is there a niche or a, a hole in your market for a certain type of builder? You know, maybe maybe you're in a market where all the builders around you are, you know, we'll say the like the track home type builders. So that means that you, you go into a you know customer goes into a builder. There's there's different floor plans that this builder has to choose from. You can pick the floor plan. Maybe sometimes there's a little bit of <clears throat> customization or, or you know things that you can kind of add on to the floor plan. But usually it's just these are the different plans that you can pick. These are the different finish packages that you can pick. So maybe there's, you know, with, with a ranch home, maybe there's, you know, four or five different plans and three different package options, you know, that include different levels of, of finishes. So that's very basic, very price point driven. But for the builder, it's it's very nice and simple. It's it's easy to to scale and build a lot of homes because you're, you're really just working off of the same few floor plans, working off of the same few sets of, of selections that are gonna be in the home. So there's definitely some, some good advantages to that. But if, if you're in a market where those are the types of builders that are in the market, and, and you feel like the, the one thing that's missing from the market or you know one of the big things missing from the market is a custom builder. Somebody that you could go into and, and say, you know, I, I, I wanna build this house. I've got specific needs. We've got a, a big blended family or we've got uh, an a, a in-law that's gonna be moving in with us. So we need an in-law suite or you know, I need to be able to have a four car attached garage, things like that. If, if you feel like maybe there's a, a hole in your market for those types of builders, somewhere where you can go in and get custom, then maybe that's, that's a niche that you can fill. So you, you wanna look at not only you know, what type of, of niche can you fill, but also, okay, this is really funny. I have to jump in here and uh, so the other day, I've mentioned I like I like Starbucks. That's how I start off my morning. So I uh, I got my coffee from Starbucks, and uh, some of you are gonna think this is gross. And and there was like you know I took a sip, took a couple sips, and then I'm looking at the at the lid, and I'm like, oh, there's there's a little bit of lipstick on there. Like, hmm, I'm, does the uh, the the barista at 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 Starbucks is she, is she like kissing everybody's lid before she gives them the coffee? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I wipe wipe off the lipstick. So now it, it it happens to me again today, but now I specifically remember, you know, I I, I kissed my wife before I left, and she had just put on her uh, her her lip gloss and. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to get too far into the into the details, but <laughs> so that's that's what it was from. It wasn't the uh, the barista at kissing the lid of the cup before she before she put it on. Thank God, It'd be kind of awkward. I don't know if I'd be going back there again. Anyways, back to the video. So it comes down to you know not only what type of homes do you want to build, and yes, that's a big part, a big decision. You know what what do you want to do? You know, you want to do something that you're going to be happy with, that you feel comfortable doing. But at the same time, if if your market is flooded with non-custom track home builders, and then you're going to try to start building houses, it's going to be really hard to, to, to get established. So if you said, okay, you know what, there's definitely a need here for a builder that, that can be custom, 
and you realize that and then that's how you go about it well then you're, you're probably gonna have you might have better success so those are, are are two important things to look at and you don't have to be you know full-on custom like people can choose anything that they any type of window that they want Anderson Pella Marvin whatever they want we can get it or any type of this that or the other we can do it it doesn't have to be that custom it can be I mean there's definitely a need for that too there there are people for every type of builder you know I'm working with a couple right now that they need a truly custom builder like ourselves because the 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 level of finishes the types of finishes that they want to do in their home would not be available with most other builders and so with us being a custom builder, we do have that, that mentality, that attitude of we can, we can pretty much do anything that you want. It's gonna cost money, but a lot of times those people that are, are building that, that really custom home, they do have more money to spend. And so money's not as big of a deal. They would rather be able to get what they want and spend more money, so they're, they're okay with that. Now it does make things not easy for us because when, when you're building custom homes and every home is different and, and you gotta make sure that you specify every little thing, you know, no, not, not, not two trim packages are the same. So before you order the trim for somebody's house, you gotta make sure that everything's correct. It's not gonna be the same as the house before or the same as the other house that's, that's being built. So there's, there's uh, definitely more work but you wanna make sure, again, if you're appealing to and building for people that have more of a, of a budget, then you should be able to charge more too, theoretically. Now, again, you don't have to be super custom. Maybe you can have some different floor plans and you can offer that you are willing to do changes. You know, you can work off of a floor plan and maybe you can add a sunroom here or you can you know add square footage here so you're 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 basically allowing the the customer to you know make things bigger but you're not you know starting from scratch you're you're starting with some type of a, of a plan so there there's all different ways to to do it you you can be the very basic builder maybe there's a need in your market maybe somebody's not fulfilling the the new home build pricing that needs to be you know, around three, four hundred thousand dollars, depending on the market that you live in. Prices vary so much. Like in our market, a starting price point home, you know, we're talking fifteen hundred square feet on a fully improved lot. You're going to be close to five hundred thousand dollars, four hundred fifty for sure. Now, I know in other areas of the country, that same type of scenario, depending on how the home's built, you can be, you know, probably the mid threes. I just wanna hop in real quick and talk about my coaching membership program that I have. I once developed a course for how to build a spec home from A to Z. I took all of those videos, all that video content material, put that into my membership. The membership has different tiers. One of the tiers includes two, uh, two per month Zoom live Q&A calls. So twice a month, every once in a while I'll be one, but for the most part, twice a month, live Zoom Q and A's. I've also got another tier with one-on-one, -on -one, one hour phone calls, all kinds of good stuff in there. So check out the details in the video below for more info. Somewhere around there, but you, you gotta look and see what, what your competition is doing. And, and you know, when we started off our home building company, we looked around at the, at the three most popular, three largest builders, and they were all builders that weren't custom. They did a little bit of, you know, variation, but, they didn't specialize in custom. And so that was something that we saw, okay, there's a there's a niche in the market for that and, and we can fill that. And now we've established ourselves as that type of builder. So if anybody in the area that knows about us is looking to do something custom, looking to do their forever home, we're definitely gonna be there in, in the mix because there aren't a lot of others in our area that do that. And it could be the opposite for you. Maybe maybe you live in an area where all of the builders are big custom builders, but there's a need for a, a, a basic house on a small lot. There just isn't isn't that out there. And so if, if you're doing that type of a house, very simplified, uh, you know, using single hung windows, drywall returns, 
um, wire shelving in the closets instead of wood. There's, there's, you know, a lot of different things that you can do, you know, minimal um, height roof pitches, simple gable style roof, keeping the, the foundation as simplistic as possible. You know, not a lot of masonry on, on the home. There's a lot of different, you know, minimal amount of windows. There's a lot of different things that you can do to keep the house simple and to keep the cost down. So those are things that you would be doing if you're gonna be wanting to kind of build that, that entry level or lower price point home. So it's something that you need to think about not only, okay, this is the type of builder that I want to be, but when you get started as becoming a home builder, you're usually getting started with building a spec home. So you're putting a product out there so that people can see what you're doing. You're getting practice doing it. It's something that then you able, you're, you're able to sell to somebody. Maybe you, you get an accepted offer on that spec home and somebody else comes in and they missed out on it. And now they want you to build them a home like that. You realize there's demand for the spec home, so you do another one. But you wanna you wanna build the home that that reflects the type of builder that you're gonna be. Now, the first spec home that we built was very small; it was under 1,500 square feet. But we still we still I don't want to say we went all out, but the way that we build our homes, the emphasis is on quality. So we build the homes the way that we would build a home for ourselves, for myself. So the way that my home is framed up, the windows that I used in my home, the type of trim I used in my home with, with you know, wood jams, the everything that I used in my home, aside from, you know, we're, we're, we're not talking about finishes here, you know, like I used a level whatever quartz in my home. So that's what we do in the spec. I'm talking more about the, the bones of the house, the things that, that, you uh, you don't see as much, but you you do see too. Again, if you have a house that has you know no trim around the windows and the drywall returns into the window, and you've got another house where you've got wood jams in the windows and you've got casing around the windows, well, people will will they can kind of tell those differences and say, okay, they 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 use more wood in their house. They're more about the quality. So. We, it was a smaller house, but the emphasis was on the quality and the materials that we used. And so people realized that when they came in into the house and they got a good feeling with us. So it started with, you know, there's there's the type of, of buyer out there that is looking for more quality. They would rather get, um, I don't wanna say less bang for their buck, but they're not as concerned about getting as big of a house as possible for, the amount of money that they can spend. They're more concerned with getting as much quality as they can for the amount of money that they're gonna spend. So again, there's different types of, of buyers and clients and customers for any type of, of builder that you are. And once you establish the type of builder that you wanna be, that you are, that there's a need for, then you tailor, you tailor your product towards that particular buyer group. So uh, that's all I've got for this one. I, I hope that uh, there was some good info in here. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do so. Click the little bell for notifications. And until next time, take care and God bless.